I think um, uh, <coughs> it is kind of quite a, you know, uh, a big volume uh, talking about the uh, engineering. So, so I decided uh, I just uh, pick up some uh, significant uh, sections uh, during uh, one month. So, well, the first time. Uh, the first, uh, the first theme uh, would be uh, the reactions. I mean, uh, environmental uh, reaction engineering. If you think about the uh, reaction, uh, what do you mind <coughs> have in mind? Reaction. What kind of keywords are uh, popping up uh, from your head? Record. Any other? Before? <laughs> I'm getting your your answer. <laughs> Concentration ratio between uh, uh, products <coughs> and records. Chemical major? Reaction function. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you are really chemical majors <coughs> too. <coughs> Question Q, right? At the uh, equilibrium state, we use K. So A plus B goes C plus B in this direction. Let's say uh, reverse direction. Uh, Q equals uh, usually uh, gamma A, A, gamma B, B, gamma C, C, gamma D, D. Actually, uh, this is concentration, and uh, this is you know, quotation. At the at equilibrium, uh, we actually take. <coughs> All right. Uh, except in equilibrium, most of the chemical reactions can be uh, described and explained by mechanics. Because just we just don't know how faster the reaction is. Right. So you need to estimate the time uh, for the uh, cleaning uh, the you know, contaminated sites. Right. I'm also using uh, this equation. You guys can calculate how much amount of chemicals and how much amount of the bugs to clean the contaminated sites, actually. Right. So, at the first time, I'd like to introduce uh, some interesting concepts on the X. Well, we are building a uh, reaction. You know, the reaction can be actually uh, analyzed by the uh, kinetics and also equilibrium. Okay, we just uh, and then uh, I'd like to introduce you how to design the reactor. <coughs> what is the reactor?
question. What my question was, what is the record? Something that, uh, that rect, that is kind of rectus, right? So rector means uh, the place or something, uh, you know, uh, for example, container. <coughs> uh, some places will be erection occur, right? That is rector. Why rector is important? What is the rector? Sorry. Are you rector? Yes. Yes, you're the rector, right? Yeah. So you have... Uh, are you guys, uh, did you have uh, breakfast, right? So if so, that means your uh, system actually uh, digesting uh, the foods uh, in the moment. So uh, you are actually uh, doing reaction. Uh, so your body is actually director, right? So we just want to know uh, what reaction occurred in the rector. Well, because we know your body and everything on the earth actually, I mean, living things actually, uh, well, that one already finished it. You don't have to read that. Wow, right. Uh, well, there are many types of records. As I read, the human body is rector. And the uh, very small beaker, reaction beaker, is rector. And also, uh, maybe, you know, uh, what kind of rector can you have? Cooking pot. Yes, cooking pot is rector. And uh, maybe. You guys said about the um, wastewater treatment plant. Could be rector. Waste, uh, I, I think um, you, you may have heard about the uh, wastewater treatment uh, uh, system. The first time uh, the wastewater from a domestic area or industrial area gathered uh, from the you know, uh, sewage line, you just, uh, you know, uh, discharge the wastewater uh, through the uh, sewage line, and it collected uh, sewage line, and we gather into the uh, wastewater treatment plant. The first time, what you want to do is, you want to screen the wastewater, because it can include uh, maybe some stupid guy just uh, uh, through this, you know, cup, into the wastewater, and there should be some very big, you know, junk of the, uh, you know, freshes or meats or any other types of, you know, solids in there. You want to screen, <coughs> screen the wastewater at first time, so you can filter the solid in the wastewater, and then you want to settle down uh, this filtered water. Because the filter cannot filter a very small particle. If you just put the <coughs> very small, nano-sized particle, what happened? Well, this city actually, you know, purged by water. So you don't want to screen this one at first time. Uh, you know, you want to screen very coarse size of the. Uh, filter the first time, right? And then, uh, using the gravity, you want to uh, settle down uh, this uh, sm small particles, and then uh, this wastewater, including nitrogen, phosphorus, and organic compounds. Well, uh, this water actually contains. Lots of you know uh, compounds from the uh, kitchen actually, uh, and then what you should do is you want to pour this one at the microorganism. We call it activated sludge. 
and then just give oxygen because these microorganisms uh, are uh, aerobic bacteria, so they want to have oxygen to degrade this nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, organic chemicals. And then what you want to do is uh, this one is actually mixed one because uh, the sludge need to mix it up with this uh, wastewater, and then you want to overflow this one and then settling it again. So uh, the sludge actually settling down, and the clean water uh, <coughs> and uh, it can be gathered at base, right? Uh, do you want to use this one uh, for cleaning, uh, for shower your body? So you don't want that, right? So what you want to do is uh, actually put some chlorine here, disinfect, maybe some, un, you know, uh, uh, not good uh, microorganisms stay there. You want to clean it with disinfectant, and then you discharge into the river. So these are all records. As a uh, environmental engineer uh, who is uh, running in civil engineering based uh, department, uh, these are what you need to do. You need to design all of this. So how do you want to design? Is there anybody who uh, already have uh, reinforced uh, concrete structure engineering? No? Maybe you will have it uh, when you were a third grade, junior year, or uh, you know, a senior year. Well, you guys can actually design uh, all of this structure because this is kind of a you know, very big you know, bathtub. So it is just like the, uh, the size of the uh, one rector is 10 times bigger than this room. And the depth is maybe five times bigger. So uh, you can contain a whole bunch of the uh, wastewater from the uh, density, actually. So uh, what is the most important thing uh, for the uh, uh, civil engineer? Uh, to design the bridge or to design the uh, you know, uh, what is that, a dam or to design high rise building? What is the most important thing? I think it's uh, oh, the break answer. Safety. Huh? Safety. Safety. Yeah, that is very important. <coughs> well, uh, think about that. If you just uh, build up a 10 story apartment building, and if the strong wind just strike the building, it just, uh, you know, uh, broken by health. And can you imagine that? Or, well, it actually happened, you know, when, uh, when I was a um, um, you know, uh, college uh, student, uh, it was 1980, uh, Samsung Bridge uh, in Seoul actually collapsed down. It was kind of, you know, morning, uh, day, rush hour time. There are so many, you know, uh, high school girls in there, and the bus actually pulling down uh, into the uh, Han River. So as she said, uh, you know, uh, the safety is very important for civil engineer. But the important thing is, uh, can you guys make a strong bridge? Yeah, well, you guys can say as a civil engineer. Well, if, if I uh, spend you know, 1,000 tons of steel and 1,000 tons of the uh, uh, cement, well, I can make it. Or what about this? Just you know, uh, using, uh, taking out the soil from the other side and uh, just pouring the soil into hot river and make the river just a rent. That's better, actually, right? But the important thing is, uh, Korean government doesn't have, you know, uh, money. So, as an engineer, you need to care about the uh, the safety, and then 
money, and then what? Yeah, that is very important. As an engineer, you really need to think about money, time, for you, and then safety for others. You should know this. Never ever, you know, well anyway, but the important thing is, as a recall, uh, you guys can uh, build this desktop. This is very, very easy. If you run the uh, Rainforest concrete structure uh, for a semester, you can actually design all of this. Maybe Professor uh, Jingen Kim or Professor Heng Yi Lee uh, may give you homework assignment or a uh, ten project. You know, build a ten story building apartment uh, for a semester. Well, you guys can build it. Well, when I was um, uh, you know university uh, college uh, college student, my uh, actually, I just wanted to build up uh, some kind of uh, ground, you know, uh, uh, building. Uh, it is 10-story uh, under the ground building, and I actually calculated uh, the steel amount and the cement amount, and I uh, designed that. <coughs> I am my student. Uh, he is now, uh, you know, professor at Yonsei University. If we just uh, how, how much amount of steel and cement is needed, are needed when we can stay at the center of the earth? We just uh, uh, you know, ignore the, uh, the temperature impact. And we just uh, think about the, the pressure of, of the soil. It could be maybe 5,000 kilometer depth of the soil. You know. The structure can actually, you know, sustain that amount of, uh, you know, weight, and then uh, the water actually uh, stay there at the pore, and the water uh, weight can be calculated. So if we can stay at the center of the earth, how much amount of the steel and how much of amount of the cement is needed? We actually calculated that, and we. So many to the uh, professor. Uh, unfortunately, professor doesn't have didn't have any interest in it. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> so uh, the point <coughs> I want to uh, tell you is, U.S. can uh, design a whole bunch of uh, you know building structure, maybe uh, uh, junior years I think. But the important thing is, as an engineer, uh, we want to build this one very timely and very economically, right? Because your client <coughs> wants that. And then as an artist, this is very, very important. This is kind of personal, you know, personal, you know, uh, opinion. Uh, engineers can be artists, you know, just like architecture, you know, arch, arch, uh, you know the people in the uh, architecture. Uh, so I just want to make this structure much more prettier, you know, much more you know, beautiful. I want that actually. But uh, nobody actually think about the, uh, uh, I just want to build this wastewater treatment uh, plant beautifully. You know. But why not? Have you ever seen the uh, incineration facility near uh, Gajan or Seoul area? You may be very, you know, surprised. Well, the incineration facility is just like the uh, museum, actually. Yeah. Because uh, nobody wants to build incineration facility uh, in their yard, actually. So the government actually uh, put some idea and this is, is not the, uh, just, is not the, is not just incineration facility. If you can, uh, come here, you can enjoy many, you know, types of different recreation. And the building itself is very beautiful. So, uh, most of the people, citizens of the Guri and citizens of, uh, of the Namenju area, uh, actually allow to build that facility. But the important thing is, um, uh, the toxic effect uh, is falling on <coughs> the 
people of the uh, Guri, but people of the uh, soul, actually. I will tell you about that later. Well, anyway, but the important thing is, uh, this is kind of biochemical, biochemical reactor, is it? Well, can you just uh, talk to me? He, his body is kind of reactor. But uh, can we, uh, I mean, civil engineers, uh, design, take his body? <coughs> he was a little bit you know, difficult uh, in work as a human being. Think about this. If this one is just uh, you know, a swimming pool, we just need to calculate the pressure of water because this pool actually need to sustain and resist the weight of the water the first time. And then this pool actually need to resist the uh, you know, <coughs> side salt <coughs> pressure. Right. If we calculate this one, well, we can design the pool structure. But the important thing is, there is biochemical reaction occurring. So how do we consider uh, this biochemical reaction and then uh, build up this you know, uh, structure safely, economically, and also timely? And beautifully. Right. Beautifully part is kind of your you know uh, homework actually. Uh, in my days, beautiful is not that important thing. You know. uh, civil structure should be civil structure, but nowadays civil structure is not uh, more. You know, uh, it is just like the uh, you can see the bridges. Um, that is, they are very beautiful nowadays. That is very very important. So. Uh, I want you design this structure <coughs> right after uh, having my class. So we'll deal with reaction, and we'll deal with reactor, and then we will design the reactor. But we are not going to design the human body. Uh, well, actually, although the uh, chemical major cannot do that. Well, we can do that with the, uh, uh, the uh, structure part, uh, but the, uh, you know, another side uh, cannot be created. All right. So, think about that. Uh, before starting this one, we really well, want to know the reaction. It could be simple chemical reaction, and it could be biochemical reaction. The reaction can be actually uh, analyzed by the kinetics. And <coughs> equilibrium. I think we already uh, have talked about the equilibrium. Most of the partitioning coefficients are from the equilibrium state. right? So what we'll do, kinetics. And you can see how the kinetics can be used for the design of this environmental reactors. <coughs> okay. Uh, one more thing. Um, I heard the uh, one uh, student just uh, uh, you know, cross his life, uh, actually. Um, please don't do that. I really mean that. Don't do that. You know, how much amount uh, can be uh, supported uh, for you by the uh, Korean government? Not say Korean government, just say uh, the people at the uh, ma marketplace. Well, actually, they are actually your supporter, right? Uh, around the uh, Two thousand, twenty thousand uh, billion one actually supported to you every year. 
Okay. So there must be 80,000. That means 0 0.5 million, actually, dollars uh, supported by the Korean government. I just talked to my uh, graduate student. <laughs> if you want to die at first time, just to calculate uh, the you know, year you spend here, and then multiply uh, the amount times your staying here, and then pay it to the supporter. Meet them at first time and say, I'm very grateful because you support me. I'm very stupid. I just want to cross my life and then die. What about my suggestion? The support could be your father and your mother and the people at the marketplace actually. They support it is you know you. But you just want to you know cross your life without any cause, without explaining anything, and you die. It's unfair. Is it? So don't die. And if you really want to die, as my recommendation, just Calculate the amount you <coughs> want to repay and meet them, meet your supporter everywhere in, the, in Korea and say, I'm very grateful. And repay them and then die. I think um, the year to meet them is around the 20 years. And uh, because you, don't, you guys don't have money, you need time to not money, maybe 20 years. So you are now 20 years. That means you can be that at age of 60. That is my estimation. All right. So don't die. You're stupid. All right. I think I'm, I already, already gave you a very you know, uh, easy introduction why we need to run the uh, reaction and reactors and uh, uh, kinetics and equilibrium before. All right? The first time, uh, we'd like to uh, run. <coughs> Think about the rates. Here, so what is the kinetics? How kinetic can be explained? Mm. Explain the behavior which is on moving. <coughs> Kinetic relates, what is the most important factor in kinetics? Kinetics, kinetics, hi. Yeah. <laughs> so, it should be kind of a ratio, something divided by time. That is, you know, uh, kinetics. So, we want to run uh, the types of rates actually. The first time, uh, there is some. Uh, Absolute rate. <coughs> uh, it could be amount divided by time. Okay. And then there is a barometric rate. Uh, it includes amount time by actually. Various kind of uh, specific rates. Uh, well, this could be kind of you know I can give a very uh, interesting example. Um, kind of uh, my diet is right or wrong. You can actually uh, using these specific rates. Uh, for example, uh, amount of your body weight divided by time. A specific time. Uh, well, 
I uh, got a very uh, wonderful experience. Now I can say wonderful experience. I uh, uh, sometimes I enjoy Ironman uh, triathlon. Uh, it is um, 3.8 kilometer swim and 180 <coughs> kilometer uh, bike riding, and then uh, doing the uh, full uh, marathon. It usually takes around the, uh, the 12 hour. Uh, yeah, that is very wonderful, you know, experience. When I first uh, time I did it, uh, I actually lose my weight uh, six kilogram. Now I am around the sixty-five kilogram, and uh, I uh, I just measure it at that time. It is uh, fifty-seven kilogram. That is very wonderful, right? <laughs> so, if, if there's not anybody who want to lose your weight, please drop by my office. I can, you know. <laughs> Lose your weight, five or six six gram per half day. <coughs> With, that is very what, what is it? So as I went to five kilogram and twelve hour. This is kind of specific you know, uh, rates, you know. Okay. All right. And then, uh, think about the uh, reaction sequence. Uh, there is a, a parallel reaction. That means A goes B, C breakers parallel. And there is some serial <coughs> reaction. Uh, it is just like the serial killer. What is serial killer? Uh, is there any parallel killer? Serial killer means uh, one guy just killed the people, and, and then uh, he or she did it, uh, another one, kind of serial, right? Parallel means, you know, so A goes B, and B goes C, and B goes D. You can calculate the uh, candidate weight constant here, one, two, three, let's say uh, K1, K2, K3. Uh, it's just like this. K1 is the smallest, right? So this K, in this case, you call it this is rate limiting stand. So if you want to make this reaction happen, A goes D, you really need to focus on this reaction. If you just uh, accelerate this reaction, you, well, you can have A to D reaction, actually. All right? <coughs> Um, I just want to use show the uh, <coughs> chemical. Uh, as I like how this chemical is very uh, <coughs> know, toxic. Uh, this is uh, mono, and this is di or bi. This is tri, and this is. Tetra, right? Tetra means four. So we call it a tetra. This, these are chlorine, right? So chloro. What is this structure? Dolba and uh, four uh, arms. This is alkene, right? Alkene, right? So tetrachloral uh, ethyl, because uh, just one C is meta, and two is eta, and three, what is that? Propa or buta? Chemistry major? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. So tetrachloral ethyl. And thin, actually, right? And this can be easily, uh, not easily, but uh, if you add some chemicals, uh, uh, reductants, you can uh, remove each chemical chlorine one by one, actually. And this one goes. <coughs> And 
finally, this one goes. And you can have acid. Uh, we call it this relation mechanism pathway hydrogenolysis. Hydrogen analysis. Hydrogenolysis. This is not the uh, chemical relation. When you put this on um, a microorganism, microorganism actually uh, did a wonderful job and uh, they just uh, cut down the chlorine. Well, the important thing is the toxicity actually increased in this direction. So most of the microorganisms actually die uh, during this direction. You know. So uh, we want to put some, not microorganisms, but some uh, reluctance, right? So in this case, well, let's uh, think about that. Uh, if the microorganisms uh, are very strong and they cannot be dead uh, during the reaction, uh, if you give a period of time and uh, let's say the concentration of this model compound, this is model compound, right? And these, all these are uh, daughter compounds. Why there is no sun compounds? There, they always have daughter compounds. Um, this one, if you put a microorganism <coughs> per amount and uh, put the uh, very uh, puts per microorganism, the concentration of this chemical may be different like this. Right? Let's say this one is PCE. So this is PCE degradation profile. And then what happened is uh, this one actually increased, right? So the concentration actually just like this. The first time it increases. But at a certain time, the microorganism also attack all of these two. Is it? Right? So microorganisms are very ruthless, you know. Uh, although your body is very healthy, microorganisms cannot attack you. But, well, actually, they attack you, or your body system actually depend it very well, or they eat microorganisms for your nutrient sources. But you that. And a very different, you know, uh, world. Microorganisms can thrive, right? So it just increases like this, and also can be attacked uh, by the microorganism, and it can be decreased. So let's say this one is PCE. And what happened is, uh, during this reaction, this serial reaction also uh, can occur. And this one is a little bit, you know, right, just like this. But this one also can be attacked by microorganism, and it can also run, goes down like this. Let's say this one is PCE because there is two chlorine attention. Finally, this one. Because this chemical compound is very toxic, microorganisms are all dead. It just increases the reaction stop here. Uh, we just want to, uh, you know, draw uh, this uh, derivation profile. Uh, 만약에 그렇게 그거 하면 그건 어 그거 하면 안 되는데. 어. 너 잠깐 그 수업 끝나고 나좀 봐.
you know, you see the apparel and you see the cereal and uh, oh, maybe this is okay. And these two uh, can be combined. Mm -hmm. and I think um, uh, the human body reactor uh, just react like this. So, uh, well, most of the people in biochemistry and the microbiology were very happy when the uh, genome project actually ended. They said, well, now we can, you know, uh, make, a, make humankind. No way. No way. Well, if they can, you can see, uh, you know, other, uh, you know, human body uh, just like you everywhere. But have you ever seen the uh, copied human body before? So far? I didn't look at that. And then, let's uh, talk about this. Uh, a little bit further. Okay, sir. Yes. Oh. Uh, we lose it. Number three. Number, four, Number three is uh, this one. Profile. Let's, you know, uh, place it as number three, right? Just an example. It is kind of serial uh, direction example. And the example, uh, this one is human body. And three, uh, reversible and irreversible direction. I think I'm, uh, well, I'm not the uh, faith <coughs> or sometimes you know, drinking and sometimes smoking Christian. Uh, so I cannot say right like this, but I think I'm, uh, I really uh, make the word you know, very wonderfully. Although you guys don't believe in God, um, you know, <coughs> most of the uh, reactions actually reversible. <coughs> So it can be regenerated, right? But you guys can say human being can be dead. Is that reversible reaction? Can you say that is reversible reaction? But unfortunately, you know, the Christian believe uh, mostly you know reversible reaction. Yeah. If you can understand, are you Christian? Christian? No, 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 I don't understand what you're saying. It's... You don't know that. Okay. My question was, um, you know, uh, most of the Christian believe, you know, liberal school reaction. So I just ask you, do you know what? Do you guys know the reason why? So my answer was, you don't know. You can find the answer if you go to church. So I'm just asking you again. I have a question. That is just an okay. <laughs> so uh, here, this is a uh, reversible reaction, and you guys know this is a reversible reaction. Uh, well, in this case, we can see the equilibrium. In this case, we cannot get the uh, equilibrium. Maybe this is vampire. You know. Never have a rest in peace. Yes, sir. This one. You can be that. Wow, difficult, right? All right. Um, think about this. Uh, our uh, chemistry major just uh, talk about. A chemical quotient Q. Uh, uh, <coughs> US this is gives uh, free energy creation uh, R P and sometimes you can have double G. 
of H minus V of S. Well, <coughs> actually, uh, gas free energy and uh, this uh, related equations just for the equilibrium. Uh, the equilibrium state, uh, well, uh, as you already know, delta G equals zero, this is an equilibrium, and delta Z minus direction goes this way, and delta G plus goes this way, right? Uh, is speaking more QK Here, K is uh, equilibrium constant. Got that? Uh, I, I uh, just want to talk to you guys. Well, I think um, uh, environmental science part is very easy. But environmental engineering part, if you don't mind uh, hear my lecture, you really you know, have very serious problem. Because it is not related to textbook. Right? Mostly my questions. And I'm not going to, you know, copy this one and uh, put it uh, in my homepage. You write, because I'm right, writing here. Right? That's what we student and, uh, student and uh, professors, you know, rule uh, during the class in our days. All right. And then, we have talked about the zero uh, direction it equals A equals B equals C equals D and this is a uh, rate limiting step uh, to accelerate uh, this direction what you want to do is to put some uh, catalysts right? so in this case we can say uh, catalytic uh, direction or you can find some <coughs> Catalytic relation. Most most of the people really like uh, you know uh, go faster. Everything should be in fast mode. I think um, most of you really like that, right? Because you have uh, that kind of intent. That is kind of inertia. When you become my age, age of forty five. 46. You cannot stop that inertia. That is very pathetic thing, you know. That's it. You really want to reflect your life. And although you are the uh, chemist or you are the you know, engineer uh, or you are the uh, philosopher or something, um, you really need to think about that. But the important thing is we always go in one direction. But the word itself is not, you know, irreversible reaction. Uh, the tragedy actually happened there. And one more pathetic, pathetic thing is, you really want to use this one, catalyst, because you want to go faster than others. Right. Sometimes in, it is definitely needed, but sometimes you need to stop it. So, what catalysts do during the reaction? Oh. Our request represented. Yes. My question was, what is the role of catalyst during the reaction? is kind of very novel and um, a radical theory uh, I never ever heard before. And uh, the last part, remaining part, is kind of very awkward, <laughs> which made me totally disappointed. He will not. What do you think? Wow, your professor is just like a ghost, right? 
I never ever think about that before. <coughs> is it? My question was, what is the role of catalyst during the reaction? Sam, over there. Uh, the role of catalyst in the reaction? Uh, like uh, usually, catalysts are helping to uh, uh, react uh, to make the reaction, and uh, in different some re some reactions cannot be uh, done like finished without the catalyst. So okay. uh, mostly they they use for uh, like providing not providing the making uh, make the reaction true. Okay, stop there. <laughs> Chemistry major. <laughs> Provide sites where a uh, reaction takes place. Uh, to the uh, active uh, act, you know, activation energy lowering hole, but uh, you cannot your uh, you know chip in your head cannot translate uh, <laughs> Korean to you know English, right? Is it right? Yeah, I believe so. Well, anyway. Okay, um, this is it for today. Uh, well, uh, I will I will deal with many uh, interesting engineering episode. Well, I think I'm you know. Uh, environmental science episode is kind of a uh, little bit more gen uh, general, you know, environmental thing. But uh, engineering uh, episode is much more, uh, you know, interesting and specific. I really, when you guys participate uh, in class and enjoy uh, the episode, that is very, very important. Anybody who have comments or questions on the uh, career? Nope. Important thing is. Uh, you know, engineering part, you always cannot, you know, uh, cover with any, you know, references. Only press notes and only recipes. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>
그래서 지금 되면 빵점에 가까울 것 같은 자기는 안 되겠대. 근데 나는 그렇게 생각하지 않는 게, 너희들 그 숙제를 갖다가 이렇게 풀리는 이유가 뭐냐면, 그러니까 이해하라고 내가 숙제를 갖다 하는 거거든. 그렇기 때문에, 내 생각은 아마 뭐 늦게 내더라도 그렇게 점수에, 그러니까 막그 영향이 갈 정도로 그렇게 점수는 안 바뀔 것 같고, 기껏해봐야 뭐한 7점 내지 5, 6점, 7점, 요 사이 아닐까? 몇 점인데요? 20점 정도 맞죠? 아니, 10점 맞잖아요. 그러니까 예를 들어서, 아니, 그러니까 예를 들어서 지금 챕터 2를 갔다가 아직 안 냈다면. 아, 예, 챕터 2를 지금 냈다 그러니까 지금 낸다면, 그러니까 풀 프레디스에 공부 받지 않을까? 어, 그리고 여러분들이 뭐 예를 들어서 한, 한주 정도 듣고, 그 다음에 다시 풀어서 내고 그러면 여러분들한테, 그러니까 점수는 분명히 갈 거예요. 갈 거니까, 뭐, 그것 때문에 그러지 말고. 그러니까 내 이야기는 그러니까 풀라는 거지. 그러니까 여러분들이 풀어야 돼. 그리고 하나 더 이제 이야기하면, 그러니까, 야, 저기 카이스트까지 와가지고, 이 보고 뺏겨. 왜, 왜 그래? 어, 교수님, 보고 뺏길 수 있는 답이 있나요? 아니, 근데 똑같아. 그게 아, 비교를 못 하는 거예요. 똑같은 게 보이니까. 그래서 내가 첫 번째는 여러분들한테 얘기를 했어. 그러니까, 만약에 그럴 것 같으면은, 그러니까 지금은 괜찮아요. 다음에 한번더 이게 디텍트 되면, 그러니까 그때는 여러분들, 그러니까 그 사람들은 보여준 사람도 마찬가지고, 그러니까, 그렇게 될 거야. 그러니까, 못 풀면, 그냥 대충, 그러니까, 푸는 과정이라도 해가지고, 아이디어라도 내면 돼. 어? 그럼 파셜 크레딧일 수 있는 거고 여러분들 못 풀면 여러분들 친구들도 못 풀어 <웃음> 아니면 친구들끼리 디스커션을 해 하고 난 다음에 따로 와서 풀면 되잖아 그치? 교수님 그러면 그때 못 풀었던 3 2 2 5 문제 다른 사람들은 풀는 사람이 있잖아요 그 그래서 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 그런, 그런 부분들도 네. 나는 네. 여러분들한테 동의하고 싶은 게좀 디스커션 하는 거죠 그러니까 해야 되는 거고 그러니까 푼 사람들이 있어 답은 아, 있고 그리고 그 내가 이렇게 얘기를 하면 너무 스트레스를 받아서 이제 또 다들 이렇게 또저 죽습니다 뭐 이런 건데 이건 또 죽으면 안 되는 거라 <웃음> 아니 정말 내 말이 정말 그러니까 죽고 싶거든 그러니까 숲 짓지 말고 돈 벌어 어? 돈 벌어가지고 근데 2학년이니까 2400만 원 마련해서 전국에 그러니까 그 시장 돌아다니면서 갚아 그거 안 되면 죽어 스텝에서 우리 목적 보여줬던 숲지 뛰우 교수님 그럼 금요일날 수업은 그러면 있잖아 금요일 수업은 그럼 아, 휴강을 하자. 그러면 다음 주 중에 또 메이크 플래스를 음, 다음 주에 보자고 해볼까요? 보자고. 네, 알겠습니다. 네. 어. 그러니까 그 그게 나. 아, 오케이. 뭐야? 뭐 이렇게. 아니. 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 아, 혹시 뭐 축제 이야기 기간이? 있니? 아 축제는 다음 주 월요일. 축제는? 축제는? 어, 축제 뭐 해도 그러니까 수업은 해야 되는 거 아니야? 그나마 오전이니까 낫기는 해요. 그나마. 그나마 네. 안 돼. 오전에 뭐 축제도 할때 나. 아니, 근데 와서 들어. 예. 안, 안 재밌냐? 나도 좋았어요. 한번 한번 해볼까? 한 번만 하면 좋 그러면 정말 재밌을 것 같아요. 정말 정말 재밌을 것 같아요. 근데, 아니, 그러니까 내가 이 예전에 인터넷 케미스트리 코스를 갔다가 한 두세 번 한국말로 강의를 했는데, 그때 이제 다 한국 학생들 밖에 없었었어. 딱두번 강의를 했어. 근데 이제 평가 때 보니까, 교수님이 그러니까 영어, 영어 강의를 안 하시더라고 나와 있더라고 그래서 이제 그때 내가 조금 상처를 받았어 아, 이거는 그냥 이래서는 되는 문제가 아니구나 계속 원만하게 준비하지 아니 그 매, 매년 상해져야 되는 거 아니야? 나 영어 강의 엄청 해줘야지 그걸 안 읽으면 어떡해 아 <웃음> 진짜? 어? 아, 아 자기도 들었다 이거지 어? 아, 아 이랬을까? 아니요 아나 오셨으니까 순간 오늘 하고 왔다 우리는 아, 뭐뭘 벌써 왔어? 어? 뭘, 뭘 대리 찍었어? 대리 공부하러. 흥. 아니, 아, 나, 나는. 유재인, 그럼 제가 다음 주, 다음 주, 그, 주로 한번 알아볼게요, 또. 어, 그럼 너희들이 만나서 참, 그, 컨센서스를 갖다가 만들 그게 없겠구나. 다음 주. 하여튼 뭐, 어떻게든 간에. 네. 그러니까 한 번은, 그니까, 이, 그니까, 신기하니까, 뭐, 꼭히 다음 주가 아니라도, 만약에 그렇게 되면 한 번은 더 해야 되는 거야. 네. 해야 되는 거고. 내 목적은 뭐냐면, 그니까, 파이널을 갖다가 좀더 일찍 했다가 끝내줄게요, 너희들한테. 그래서 시험 공부 좀 많이 할수 있게. 아, 네. 예. 알겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요.